good morning oh, welcome to a new session in this session we are going to discuss user defined data types in java user defined data types in java right very interesting and very useful topic so user defined data types nothing but classes right let us take an example to which everybody can relate a simple analytical geometry example create a class by name point with two parameters x coordinate and y coordinate and let us have a constructor as well which initializes x and y i use this keyword here to initialize object parameters x and y okay now let us create one more class called a line <coughs> here i use user defined data type point and here i create two points is this clear for creating point class i used primitive data types x and y for creating line class i am using user defined data types data type point right now constructor for line now inputs are point 1 and 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 point 2 right same this dot p1 is equal to p1 this dot p2 is equal to p2 this is clear this is taking objects in each object there are two parameters you can access them with dot operator and let us have a method which returns double whose name is get length right now how do you get length square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square square root of square root is in math class p1 x that is x coordinate in point 1 minus x coordinate in point 2 square for square i use power where is power again in again in math okay now this is now this is p1 x minus p2 x r x1 minus x2 whole square okay plus y1 minus y2 whole square y coordinate in point 1 minus y coordinate in point 2 right m must be capital here and apply power method so hope you understand it this is length or you return length 
this is clear you can read this as x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square okay here let us create two points and let us create one line say l1 okay r line or create a point we just created references here or create a new point so coordinates are 10 and 20 create a new object point once again okay and store its address in pt now create a new line from p1 and p2 where p1 and p2 are objects and they are received as point p1 and point p2 by line class while creating line object is this clear now here you can call get length method right to get the length okay if you want integer value of length what should be done to round it from a method by name round from math class is this clear did you understand it here i passed objects as parameters and here p1 and p2 are user defined data types okay is this clear double is primitive and point is user defined how do you create your own data type by defining a class is this clear is this clear you can create any number of lines in given points hope you understand it okay here i explained how to create our own data type how to pass objects as parameters and how to use sum of math class math class methods square root power and round okay so i hope you understand it please subscribe for automatic updates and also like the video thanks for watching and keep watching for more interesting and useful videos thank you